Hey guys, it's Christina here again, and I have decided to do um, my foundation routine today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, my hair is wet. Usually, when I put my foundation on, I put my hair up in a bun, and then I put like one of these things on, so then I don't get foundation like in my little baby hairs. But um, sometimes my hair is dry, but today it's wet. So if it looks like a hot mess, I apologize. But this is really how I put my foundation on, and I figured you guys would want to really see how I do it, as opposed to me with, you know, perfect hair. Not like my hair is ever perfect, but just, you know, just already done hair, and then I put on my makeup. That's not how I do it. So this is exactly how I do it, and I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to start out with moisturizer. Um, today I'm going to be using the Clean and Clear. Sorry, I'm still getting used to this. Um, this is the Pore Perfecting... This is crazy, the Pore Perfecting um, Moisturizer, and it has an SPF of 15. The reason I use this is because it kind of like mattifies my skin when I use it. So sometimes I use a primer after this, sometimes I don't. But I'm just going to put that all over my face and all on my chin. Get it like everywhere. sure you get it under the eyes you don't want anything to burn and the under eye skin is very sensitive all right sometimes I even put it like on my ears just you know for when you're driving if my hair is tucked behind my ears or something okay that's done so then recently I bought this at Sephora the other day like they're having 75% off of the fusion beauty and my skin has been breaking out and for some reason, like, primers just seem to break me out. So I figured I'd try this, um, it's the acne control one. Like, you cannot see, like, any of the skin. Anyways, it's the Prime Results Acne Control Primer. And it's the yellow one. So I'm just going to do, like, like that much. And that usually covers most of my face. Sure that I get it like all up here. And if I'm looking down, I have a mirror right here. So I can see that too. I am liking this primer because I did have a few zits and now I don't have any at all. And I don't know if it's because I've been using the Neutrogena skin clearing one with this or if it's just this product specific, but Lately, my skin has just been breaking out like crazy, so. Alright, after that, I put on my eye cream, which is the Benefit, the, it's potent, yeah. Just a quick dab of that, right here, and right there. Usually leave this on before I do concealer bring it up on the eyelid just for a little extra another thing that I use is this Nivea it's the mint and minerals lip balm I put this on my lips because right now I did use the Blistex but I had a coupon for this so I am trying this right now and I've been liking it a lot lately, but I do miss my bliss text, so I don't know how like how many times I'll repurchase that. Okay, so on to foundation. I am using today, I'm using the Chanel, let's see if I can actually get this, Vita Lumiere Aqua, and my shade is BR20. So I'll shake this up, and this is one of those foundations that you have to like completely shake up or you'll have like or it'll be separated. So, um, I've been loving this foundation. I've been wearing the new Neutrogena, the skin clearing one. I think that's what it's called. And then I've also been having like a small sample of that Clinique, the Razor Wear Repair Wear or Repair Wear Laser. I don't know. I love all of those. So that's pretty much what I've been using lately. And I've been shying away from my, um, NARS Sheer Glow. And then this is what it looks like. It's just like a little squeezy tube which I like these okay. 
I might not have enough so I'm just gonna dot it on my face in certain spots and I rub this on with my fingers and then blend it out with a brush afterwards because I do not like the way that foundation looks on my skin after I have used a brush like the entire time I really really like this foundation because it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer like it really just feels like a second skin I know I've said that before but I really really like this foundation and then I have some some issues right here where my skin is like not yellow but kind of like a greenish tint so and then I have a little redness right here pretty much just trying to sure I blend it in with the neck of the stuff. I know this isn't the most graceful thing ever, so I apologize if you guys are <laughs> somewhat terrified at this point, but this is how I put my foundation on. Okay, and real quick, I'm just going to blend it in with this um, Real Techniques, um, I think it's the buffing brush. I came in a set for and it's like $15.99 and this is like my favorite brush that I've bought from her stuff and I use it every day whether it's mineral or powder or liquid so yeah everything's blended in so next I'm going to do my concealer because now my eyes are are done um, I use the Rimmel match perfection and my shade is in sorry fair is that what it is? Fair. <sighs> so I just apply it like straight from the the tube. It's a squeezy tube, so you just squeeze it, and a little goes a long way with this thing. And I pretty much just do it right in the corner, and then blend out any excess, because all of my dark parts are like right here in the inner, right by the tear duct, in the inner corner. I'm also one of those people that puts concealer on my nose and I don't know why like I know it's supposed to slim it and it does like you can see now okay all right and after that I take my elf complexion perfection powder and I take this how do I do this this yellow color that is right here. Okay, yellow is right there. This yellow color, and I just set my under eye with it. Um, I did use Well Rested for a while, and this actually, for me, does the exact same thing. So I had a sample of Well Rested, and when I ran out of that, I just started using this, and it really worked well, and it brightens it up for me, so I like that. And then sometimes I'll take the pink part, which is this part right here, this part right here, and just run it on top of my cheekbones like as a pre-highlighter. I don't know why I do that. I just do. And then I'll run it down the bridge of the nose. Kind of to set the concealer that was on there before. And then I just go over one more time. That way it gets a little bit of the pink. I love this product. And it's like $3 at Target. And then next I take this spoily brush that I have that came with the Tarte from a uh, kit from Walmart. And I just brush my brows up. I brush them down. Brush them over. brush them over. Okay. And then I take this, it's like a Maybelline Divine, Define a Brow Gel, and I have to lightly do this, otherwise my brows will get crusty. But just a light application of that. Okay, and that is it 
for my foundation routine. I don't set my foundation with powder because it doesn't need it. And I'm not one that gets oily in the T-zone, even though it looks a little shiny, but that's just because my window's open. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I guess there's nothing else to say. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys later. Bye.